Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Michelle Carlos. So Michelle Carlos and everybody named Mama Honey been wanting me to talk about this whole Jordan Sparks and Sage Gemini situation. So this whole situation is a hot damn mess. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because why? This tea is piping hot. And for all those who always ask where to get a teacup from, you guys can click the link down below. Click on my store. I still have coffee cups available that you guys can buy on lovelytea.com, okay? Enough of that shameless plug. So anyway, so what went down? is that early last week it was announced that Jordan Sparks and her boyfriend Sage Gemini had broke up due to him cheating on her so a lot of people were really upset as we all know Jordan Sparks is a really sweet girl and she was recently dating Jason Derulo they dated for about two years and then he ended up breaking her heart and cheating on her so we were all rooting for Jordan we were hoping that this relationship with Sage would last but unfortunately it didn't so then Sage decided to go publicly onto Instagram and basically beg Jordan to come back to him and say that he really wanted to be with her. Wendy Williams even spoke about this. This was viral. And people, you know, started rooting for them again and really wanted to see them back together, okay? So then his ex-girlfriend who folks were saying was the side chick and that's who he was cheating on Jordan with decided to expose him. Now I don't know how to pronounce this chick's name. Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce nobody's damn name. I think her name is Serim or circumcised. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So anyhow, she decided to leak out this audio. It's about 20 minutes long, but I have a small snippet of the audio that you guys can listen to really quick. And basically she's putting him on blast. And in this audio, he's saying that he was never serious about Jordan Sparks, that basically Jordan Sparks had on his nerves. He wanted to stab her. And then that he, and that he also used her for $70,000 to buy a home. This dude is whack as fuck. Go ahead and check out this small audio snippet and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Like, you know, she Whole new relationship and I still ain't, still ain't did none of that shit. And you didn't did all of that, still. What you mean all of that? You, you got in a whole relationship like y'all all perfect, like everything is great with y'all. I mean, you ain't never did half the shit you and this girl did. I mean, I half it because I was in jail too, but still. Those are pictures, those are pictures. Nigga, everything was fucking horrible. Like, that shit was fucking dumb. She got on my nerves. I wanted to stab her. Like, all the shit. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, she cool. She level-headed. She whatever. But, you know, but she's not no regular person. Like, you know, she can't... I can't call her and be like, hey, you know, I'm about to come pick you up. You know, I had a bad dream. I want you to stay next to me. You know, I, don't, I can't do that shit. I can't, like, you know? But everybody on the outside looking in is just like, oh, yeah, you know, hella perfect this and this and that. Because at first, it was supposed to be on the same shit as Kane Garcia, but... I'm like, fuck it. And, you know, I'm, I'm down and shit like that. And you, you want to get revenge. You put your Instagram back up. You make it seem like you don't give a fuck. And then you posting the next nigga and all this about that. And I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm just continuing to do it. Who did I post? What's the next nigga that I post? What? Jazzy Faye. Right, that's right. my I just heard that small audio snippet. And so after she exposed that snippet, she also took to Instagram. And this is what she wrote as well. Since that has come out two days ago, Sage has not spoken on it, Jordan Sparks has not spoken on it, but to know that she was not only being used, but that she was being cheated on, that he used her for the money and that he wants to stab her, this dude is definitely a loser. A lot of folks took to Instagram, they were really, really upset, they were trashing his Instagram page. You guys can see some of the comments and the tweets right here.
right, so you guys just saw the comments and the tweets. I think the thing that's bothering me the most with this situation is that I have a lot of young girls, particularly, who are emailing me and who are literally hailing this girl a hero, saying that, you know, circumvent, circumcise, cerebrum, I don't know what her name is, but they're basically saying that she's a hero and she's not a thought and that basically, you know, she did this in the best interest of Jordan Sparks and we need more women to come together and support each other and put these men on blast. First of all, young girls, er, slow your roll, okay? Come on, come on, take a seat. I'm going to be a psychologist again. Like I told y'all my Love & Hip Hop review, damn it. Y'all can call me Dr. Lovely T. If Dr. Love can be a damn doctor at 18, soak in Lovely T, okay? This is what I want to share with y'all, though, real talk. This girl is not a hero, okay? We need to be careful who we put on a hero status out here. She did not put this audio out in the best interest of Jordan Sparks. This woman put this audio out to extend her 15 minutes worth of fame, okay? Now what a lot of you guys don't know because I love to research everything, this woman has done this before. She did this back in 2013. She was dating a Bay Area rapper. His name was Kafani. And basically they had gotten into it and she decided to blast him and said that he was gay. She got all this footage from like his gay lover and she blasted him all over social media. And basically he went off on her, said that, you know, she hacked his account and all this other stuff. It was a big old mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out really quick. So you guys just saw that. So this girl is messy. She did not have Jordan's interest at heart. This is what happens when stupid ass, simple minded dudes sit there and cupcake with the wrong girls. In the words of Drake, Yes, Drake, yes, preach. <laughs> the damn truth you know what i'm saying this dude literally sat on the phone for 20 minutes his ex-girlfriend with a girl he played and he cheated on this girl doesn't owe sage any type of allegiance at all he's an idiot she sat and recorded the entire conversation and put it on the internet why would you trust a girl that you broke her heart why would you tell her all of this about another chick thinking that she's about to have your back like it says gemini fucking stupid you know the sad part is that this insta thought had no problem bringing down this man like like I've told you guys before, I do not agree with anyone videotaping or audio taping somebody unbeknownst to them. I said the same thing with the Donald Sterling situation. Even though he was an asshole, I still did not agree with V. Stiviano taping him and leaking that to the press. I said the same thing with the Hulk Hogan situation. Even though he's a damn racist asshole, he still had the right to say what he wanted to say in the privacy of his home. I do not agree with people being videotaped. And I bet you these same people who try to attack me and call me a coon who was saying that it was okay for Hulk Hogan to be audio taped and blasted to the news media in the same breath will sit here and say that it's not okay for this black man to be recorded and blasted to the news media see that's one thing about me I'm not a hypocrite you know what I'm saying I feel like it's not okay for anybody under any circumstance this entire situation was not our business is it wrong? Is he shady? Is he an asshole? The answer is yes, you know what I'm saying? But this chick had no business putting him on blast like that and leaking this audio for the world to see. And for all these young girls out here putting her on a pedestal and acting like she's a hero, I think you guys need to have better role models and really know and decipher who you guys put out there as a hero because this girl has done this before. This is not her first time. And when I see a pattern of behavior like this, then to me, you're nothing more than an attention whore. So she gets no props from me, her and Sage Gemini are perfect for each other. They're both two birds of the same feather. And I'm glad that Jordan Sparks has woken up and that she's no longer with this guy. And even though she's hurt right now, we've all been through there. We've all been used, mistreated, hurt by people that we thought really loved us. And Jordan Sparks will rise from this and she will eventually 
find a good man who loves her and who loves her generosity and not some asshole rapper who's trying to use her and who's not sincere. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey, that's concerning Sage Gemini and Jordan Sparks. This is my first video ever on Jordan Sparks, but I love her music. I'm a big fan of hers. You know, do you guys feel like this girl's circumstance, circumvent, or circumcision, whatever you want to call her, do you guys feel like, you know, she's a hero and everybody should get behind her and praise her for busting out Sage Gemini? Or do you feel like she's just another insta thought looking for her 15 minutes of fame? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.